Podman has a couple of cool tricks up its sleeve. One such trick is pods. Pods are a group of one or more containers that operate together. Think of pods as a way to group related containers together for easier management, such as a WordPress container and its required MySQL database container managed from a single pod. And because Podman deploys each container as its own process, this can be a very efficient and easy way of creating interconnected containers. I want to walk you through the process of deploying a pod with Podman on CentOS 8. The first thing to be done is the creation of a new pod. The command to create a new pod is podman pod create. You'll know if the pod was successfully created when the command returns an ID for the new pod. List the newly created pod with the command podman pod list. The listing of the pod will contain the random name created for the pod. You'll need that name in order to add a container to this pod. You will also notice the new pod contains a single infra container. This new container was randomly created for the pod. You can list that container with the command podman ps-a-pod. -pod. The output of that command will list any containers that have been deployed without sudo privileges. So it will include the random container within our new pod. To deploy a new container based on the Ubuntu image running the top command to the pod silly underscore ba ba, the command would be podman run dash dt dash dash pod silly underscore ba ba Ubuntu top. We should now see our pod has more than one container using the command podman pod ps. In the listing, you'll see the number of containers is three. To view the individual containers, issue the command podman ps-a-pod. In the detail listing, you'll see the command that each container is running. It is also possible to create a new pod and deploy a container to it with a single command. Say you want to deploy an Nginx container exposing external port 3100 to internal port 80 to a new pod named trtest. That command would be podman run dash dt dash dash pod new colon trtest test dash p 3100 colon 80 engine x. The output will list the newly created container ID. Check to make sure the newly created pod is ready with the command podman pod list. As you can see, our new tr test pod has been created and includes two containers the random container, and our Nginx container. To stop a pod and all of its associated containers, you must first find its ID. To do that, issue the command podman ps-p. The ID will be listed under the pod column. Stop the pod with the command podman stop ID, where ID is the first four characters of the pod ID. To restart a pod and all of its associated containers, issue the command podman start id where id is the first four characters of the pod id if you want to see more how to videos subscribe to our how to make tech work youtube channel also check out tech republic for the latest news in tech